We had been looking at some used homes and had um, put in three offers three different times and all those fell through for whatever purpose. Um, I was praying one night and decided that um, afterwards I told Corey, I said, God's really putting it on my heart that we don't need to live in a used home. We uh, need to build. And um, he kind of chuckled. And so we were driving around one night or one day and um, decided to pull in and had heard about Beaten Bow, knew they were um, a value builder. And so we visited one of their uh, model homes over here in Regal Park at that time. And um, that's when we met Charlie Evans. I remember when the home was going up, telling Roxanne, man, this would be so cool. Uh, this would be really cool to be able to do this for a living. Uh, because I had construction in my background, you know, um, through college, through high school. Um, and so uh, I hadn't been uh, around residential construction in many years. And so it kind of renewed that desire and that passion uh, for, for building. And so when we were, when we were building the home, um, I remember constantly talking about how this would be so cool uh, to be able to do this. Um, we built that home, lived in it two months, and then Corey was working for MCI WorldCom when all the scandal happened and everything um, occurred there. And they pretty much laid everyone in their office all off. And Corey got an opportunity to do um, build restaurants out in Albuquerque. And so then we went out there for four years and then coming back, Corey had sent his resume in and when Rick called him up, he says, is this the Corey Lusk that built this home at yada yada address? And Corey said, yes it is. We just started a conversation with, tell me what's bringing you back to Lubbock? Why, why are you trying to get back to Lubbock? And uh, uh, the rest was history. Um, two days later, I think it was, we drove to Lubbock and uh, did an interview uh, on a Friday lunch. He said, well, why don't you come Friday for lunch? And uh, probably spent, I'm, I'm thinking, three straight hours with Rick in his office. And uh, it was a really great conversation. I remember when he did the interview, we left and sat in the parking lot and cried because we knew we felt like we were home. So regardless of everything else, um, we knew that God was bringing us back. I came in to uh, lead uh, a group of guys uh, to lead uh, home building and build homes through those guys. Then it became a uh, production manager uh, overseeing multiple teams. And then later I got the opportunity to uh, Spent one year doing nothing but helping build a trade base. And I was the construction manager at that point for um, a year. Then after that was chief construction officer on the executive team. Served on the executive team for a few years with four others um, before uh, the leadership board created BHI leadership with uh, Gina, Cal, and myself. I am the vice president of operations and that consists of leading all construction teams and warranty teams, um, I'm fortunate to be able to um, spend time with those leaders, helping them uh, build their teams uh, that build homes.